The 2017 breeze up sale maintained the tremendous momentum observed over the past three years. Major leaps in both the aggregate and average price resulted in records being shattered across the board. The sale has witnessed the fastest growth in the history of Arcana, with the 2017 turnover representing a six-fold increase on the 2006 figure and the average price having been multiplied five-folds over the same period. Held in Deauville for the second year running, the 2017 renewal attracted buyers from across the globe, including a significant number of fresh faces. And for the second year running, it registered a European record for a breeze up horse when an athletic call by Street Sense, consigned by Really Brown's Muckless Hill, commanded a final bid of 1.4 million euros from Kerry Radcliffe to seal a fierce battle against the Coolmore partners. It's a gorgeous horse. Um, actually, I've been to every two year old breezer, has been this year, and he's the nicest cold I've seen. Yeah. He is for Phoenix Thoroughbreds, which is who I've been buying for everything recently. We're a regulated fund, the first thoroughbred fund in the world. Um, he fits our bill. We want to go out and buy the best we can buy, and he fitted the bill. The sale represented a personal best for veteran consigner Willie Brown, who picked up the call for $15,000 as a yearling in partnership with Jim McCartan and ended the day as a leading vendor. I can't believe it. I mean, this is mind-blowing stuff, you know. I knew he'd do well, but I never thought it would be anything like that. So, um, my uh, career changing money, so it's brilliant, you know. So, I'm, I'm, ex I'm over the moon. Jim McCartan and I liked him from the start. Listen, he's been a dream since we've had him. He's done nothing, only pleases us. So, it's a great story. Several French based stallions saw the progeny in high demand from international buyers with two-year-old by Siuni, Ken D'Argent, Elusive City, Wooten Bassett, as well as freshman sires Steel Vendôme, Dabiasim and Intello, selling for €200,000 and beyond. Arado Bonneval Siuni proved the hottest of all and was responsible for the second highest price, a filly from the draft of Conmanane's Bansha House Tables. I thought she was a beautiful, quality filly, fantastic temperament by a great stallion, particularly doing incredibly well, particularly with these fillies. Out of a choisir mare who could run, Jean-Claude Rouget told me she was very fast. He loved the filly, and, uh, and I was very keen to get him one, one good one if I could. A call by the same sire consigned by Church Farm and Horseback Stud won the way of Richard O'Gorman on behalf of Godolphin for 550,000 euros. From a family of top-class printers and speedy juveniles, he had topped last year's V2 yearling sale at 125,000 euros. À 550. On a juge. 550 000. Well, we thought he was a very nice horse. He breathes very well, and uh, I bought him for Godolphin and John Ferguson. Well, he's a very good sire, and this was a very nice horse by a good sire. With a clearance rate of 74%, the turnover for 92 horses sold took a 23% hike, having already gone up 30% a year ago, while the average price, which was up 19% in 2016, increased by 27% this time around.